Cumulus Media Station. Good morning, everyone. We ready? Live from the TFCU Energy Studio. The Rule and Ryan Show with producer Eric, Special K, and Sam. Okay, we have a new phone number. It is 833-390-5723. That's 833-390-KRBE. If you try and call the other number that we've been giving out for 20 Nothing's th- happening. A thousand years. <laughs> it's going to say it's busy and you can't get through. But that should be a reality, fun August when I'm... everyone's back. Uh-huh, and we're they gonna, didn't know. We're going to have to hit this number so much in August when people go back to school because they're like, I don't know what's happening. I'm trying to call you guys. You don't answer or it's always busy. But we want you nope. to call right now. 833 is the new area code. If you had an... You know, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the name before you get married. Pretty Your easy maiden, maiden name. name. Your maiden name. And you got married and you to change it. Uh, it's uh, okay. There's no law that says you have to take if you if No, you don't. Somebody else, you, you don't. Take their name. But did you have a cool you maiden name and then you got married and you're like, oh, I don't like this as much. Because Sam or, had a thing about the Olympics with Swanson. Uh, Mallory Swanson. She's killing it. She is a team beast. USA. So we won against Pretty Germany yesterday. Yes. Okay. We're killing it. The next team is uh, Wednesday at 1. What was her original name? Pew? Uh, P U G H. So what? Puh? Pew? 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 Some people can say pug. pug. Some people say pew. pew. Some people say. So I think she had an upgrade. But you were mad because you're like. I was just mad because her husband's a star. Yes, because for the Cubs. <laughs> is that what position he plays? Yeah, it's so. not that I'm. I I, uh, I don't know. I just feel like as a little girl that dreamed of playing soccer in the Olympics, Mia Hamm was my like role model, and that was just her name. That was like her given name. And then for mm-hmm. some reason, I don't know why, it just irked me that did she change her name, Mia Hamm? No, that was that was. Is she still Mia Hamm? Oh, I don't know. She's been MIA. I haven't done research. Well, on professionally, her. if Swanson wanted to change her name to Swanson, <laughs> I yeah, you're right. She's a, I'm MIA. She doesn't follow her. Um, I Swanson is married her. to a which Cubs guy? I don't know his first name. Uh, Dan. Dansby. Dan. Dansby. Dansby Swanson. Okay. okay, so they're both professional sense. sports. Athletes. Yes, it makes sense that she took his last name. I took my husband's last name, but I don't know. How why did you feel just, about like, that though? Like when you had to change yeah. your name. How did you feel? I was fine with it. My dad wanted me. you had a me, cool last name. My dad wanted me to keep our, so my last name is Given. I'll go by Sam Given on air. G-I-V-E-N. That's not your real name. No, that is my real name. People always add an S. But you got married. But then I got married. So now because of I'm married, it's Olivo. It's Olives. I know. It's I see, Olives. I Everybody, see olives. Eric still olives. doesn't know how to say my last name. Olivio? But my dad Olivo. wanted me to keep my last name. And I was like, Dad, you have two sons. I'm not keeping our last name. We did have a man call our show years ago who changed his name to his wife's last name. Whoa. Because he did not have any siblings. He had a terrible relationship with his father. He said his father was a bad guy and did not want to carry his name on. So he happily changed his name to his wife's last oh. name. But the question at 833-390-KRBE is, did you have an upgrade or a downgrade when you changed your name? Emily is up first. Hi, Emily. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Good morning, Emily. Hello. So what's the name you went from? What's your name now? The last name. So I went from Dudek, which a lot of people thought was really cool, and they would call me by my last name, Dudek. Like, Dudek. Dude. Dudek. Okay. Dudek. Dudek. Okay. <laughs> That's different. And uh, on my first date, actually, with my now husband, we met on Bumble, so they don't. It, it just says a last initial. Yeah. So on our first date, I was like, "What's your last name?" <laughs> and he was like, "It's um, there's a little slogan that goes with it. It's from start to finish. You can't beat a minish." So, last name Minish. His last name is Minish. <laughs> Minish. Oh, Minish. He, had pre- he presented it to you that way. He didn't just say, my he last name is Minish. That way. He goes, from start to finish. Yeah. So, it's do that to finish. Minish. 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 Not finish. Well, Minish is fine. Minish. So, do people mispronounce well, that? Minish. I can't imagine they do. Are they saying mine But how do you guys say, here comes Sometimes the Minishes? They'll spell, it. they'll spell it with two N's, like fin, like. Yeah. Like fin. No. Yeah. Minish, finish. Minish. But, Unless you're fin- from but the, Finland. But the funny part is, finish. <laughs> <laughs> the funny, funny part, part is that at our wedding, my dad really liked the um, the fact that the Minish family has a slogan. So during <laughs> his speech, he came up with a, <laughs> a slogan for the Dudek family, and he said, uh, "What the heck? Why not Dudek?" <laughs> <laughs> That's cute, Emily. So now we have competing slogans. How That's long? Funny. How long That's have y'all been cute. married now, Emily? We've been married for three years. Oh, oh nice. Congrats. Well, congratulations. Thanks so much for listening to the Rule and Ryan show. Have a happy Monday, Emily. Emily Minish from start to finish. <laughs> now, remember right. that. Yeah, you're going to remember that. Ever. I like it. I like it. I like it. All right. We have Shannon coming up next at 7. Oh, I'm sorry, 833-390-KRBE. Hi, Shannon. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Well, we're talking about last names. When you get married and you change your name, yes. was it upgrade or a downgrade from maiden name to married name? What'd you get? 
So my maiden name was Sweat, and I think I got a downgrade because he wants me Sweat to troll. Oh my sweat God. to troll. Oh, shut up. You're a sweat troll? <laughs> sweat. Yeah, so when sweat I went troll. to get my name changed, the lady was like, do you want to keep it like sweat troll? And I'm like, no. <laughs> no. And then my oh, husband, my well, God. he's my ex-husband now, and he was he said I was a sweaty troll now. <laughs> he said you're so, a sweaty troll. Yeah. Oh, troll. Oh, yeah. So we're, di- we're, di- we're divorced. Well, you can so change I'm it back. back. Wait, you went back to sweat. Okay, I did. We're divorced. Troll. Okay, okay, go back to sweat. I'm so sorry for laughing at you. Think about it. Keith um, Sweat. I went back to sweat. I did. Sweat. I like sweat. You're troll. You're a sweaty troll. Troll sounds weird. Like, troll sounds like Shin and sweat. Icky. Are you guys trolls? You sound like a badass on a sports team. Oh, man, they got Shin and sweat. Yeah. We're screwed. Shin and sweat. I like that. Don't you guys remember the R&B singer Keith Sweat? Yeah, of course. Yeah, Twisted. Yeah, really yeah. Twisted show. remake. Uh, yeah, my yeah. mom told me that supposedly he's my cousin, but I don't know if that's true or not. <laughs> oh, wow. You Get can claim it. Girl, I would cash. take it. Take yeah. it. Just claim yep. that. Yep. Shannon, right? Shannon Sweat. <laughs> I'm sorry, but if that. I was dating somebody and they said their name was Troll, I'd be like, yeah, I don't know if... I'm going to change that. I would, no way I would take your name. But if I'm, you were really it. into the woman, you would not say, ooh, no, I can't if take it your name, last name. Or just change it. Like, give it a nickname. Uh, you don't that care one. about the hair. I did that to my wife's name. What? I don't call her by her real name. I call her Nagy. Uh-huh. Yeah, but first name makes sense. Maggie. You yeah. wouldn't do a nickname for your last name. Yeah, you right. Can't. Now. Okay, we're yeah. going to Debbie next. Upgrade or downgrade when you went from maiden name to married name. Hi, Debbie. Good morning. Hi. Hi. I had an upgrade. Oh, okay. Right. Upgrade. Okay. okay. What you got? My f- Maiden name is Adcock, A D C O C K. Oh dear. Okay. Oh, and Adcock. I went to Cash. Ooh. I went to Cash. Well, cash is cool. Debbie Cash. Yeah, Debbie that's cash. cool. Oh, yeah. how fast did you change that name? You got, you got engaged. You're like, I'm already changing it now. Like, yes. <laughs> yeah, I did that. I did that. How many years have you been married, Debbie? Um, I was married over 27 years, and he passed away. I'm sorry about that. And uh, thank you. Um, 27. But yeah. well, thank you. Next year I'll be 50. <laughs> wow. wow, damn, that's awesome. And he left you with a great yeah. name. Yeah, he did. Yes. Any relation yeah. to Johnny? The yes. man in black. <laughs> Actually, his name was John. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh you're oh. married to John Cash. So when he asked for reservations, wow. uh, Johnny Cash for two, please. Mm. They're like, well, it, you know, he he was named before Johnny Cash be, became famous. He had the name his first. Two, uh, right. Yeah. His two grandfathers were John and Howard. Mm. Howard um, Cash. Yeah. Yeah, you always wonder about, like, do you have a name and then somebody does something in this and world? And they get famous and they Dahmer. get the same name. Well, how many people name? call our show oh, and we say yeah. we have a famous name? We have a Julie Roberts listens to our show. Jessica Biel listens to our At show. Jennifer famous. Lopez listens to our show. Infamous or something where you're like. Oh, but if they're, like, scary. Like, or like a serial killer. Or even Monica Lewinsky back in the day. You know, just normal name. Well, I mean. Sudden, if when I hear that, they think is stuff that went If you've down. got a last mm-hmm. name where somebody's horrible, like a Jeffrey Dahmer or something like that, you, you change the name. Like, I, I don't Why know. I change it? He's the one who sucks. Well, yeah. guess what? <laughs> that's all there, there were, we can't there change his there name, were, though. <laughs> after World War II, there were three Hitlers left, and they all changed their last name. They did that's not good. want that last name. And so well, that did, makes um, sense. And I don't know if it, this is a true fact or not. I saw it in the movie Parkland with um, Zac Efron. Mm-hmm. The... Um, Lee, Harvey, Hos- uh, Lee Oswald. Harvey Oswald's brother changed his last mm-hmm. name because he was like, I just can't with this. No, you don't want to be known for that. Exactly. Hell no. Y'all go to the listener line, 713-278-VENT. That area code's still the same. 713-278-VENT. If you want to share with us whether you had an upgrade or a downgrade when you got married from your maiden name to your married name. Now, coming up next, we're going to have a Rule and Ryan Roses update with Hannah. Uh, last week, she said, I was worried that my man was cheating on me again. Oh. After three years ago, I took him back. And he was. <laughs> what happened after the phone call? We'll get the update next on the Rule and Ryan Show. Now, time for a Rule and Ryan's Roses update. And we're going to do this on, on the air. 104.1 KRBE. All right. Parental discretion is advised. Hannah and Paul have already endured one cheat three years mm-hmm. ago. And then Hannah and her daughter come back and they see a piece of jewelry, women's jewelry on the nightstand. She's like, oh, God, please tell me he's not doing this again. Well, you want to guess how that went? Oh, no. Let's just give you the recap of what happened last Thursday when I offered Paul red roses while Hannah was listening in on the line. And here's how that went. Janice, hope to see that beautiful smile again soon. XOXO, Paul. Hi, Paul. Who the hell is Janice? Oh, uh, hey, Hannah, it's... It's you, you know I've been telling you about the new client we're trying to get at work. 
Uh, it's Janice. Um, yeah, I'm just Paul, I'm just Paul, trying to don't, get her don't business. Don't me right now. Are you kidding? You say freaking engine part. You're not trying. You're not some hot shot trying to get a client. Who is Janice? Well, I take my job seriously. Okay. You don't send XOXO to a client. Yeah, that's, that's hugs and kisses. We've heard that before, and that doesn't fly. No, that's a friendly, a friendly gesture. It's not know? a regular not... salutation. No, that's inappropriate. That's sir. inappropriate. Like, I if mean, if you were sending that to a business contact that doesn't really know you, and you put XOXO, they would definitely side eye and be like, "What is this guy doing?" Can't wait to see that beautiful smile, Paul. You just sound so dumb right now. Are you? She serious? needed a transmission. Bull. She came in looking for a transmission. I told her I don't have one right now, but I'll be on the lookout. This was just the way, you know, I want to see her smiling when I get her their transmission. That's all I meant. <laughs> you sound so dumb. And you're a liar? And this is done. It's done. He's a bad liar. Anything else you want to say, Paul, while we're still on the phone with you and, you, you know? There's nothing going on between me and Janice. I'm well, then if that's the case, Paul, why don't you let your wife call Janice and say hi? Uh, yeah, let's, yeah, she could, she could call Janice. You're, you're such a bullshit. You're such a bad liar. I can't even believe I fell for this all over again. I can't believe I took you back the first time, should have left you then, but I'm definitely leaving you now because you're a liar and this is bullshit. Yeah, I believe you, Hannah, because honestly, I'd be willing to bet a million bucks he's texting Janice right now. Like, hey, I think my wife is going to be wanting to call you. You better cover. Well, also, I don't believe him at all that he would actually no. give that number out. Who That's sends red I... roses to a client with, yeah, I love your beautiful smile, miss your beautiful smile, XOXO? Well, either way, I think that you've gotten a lot of uh, information here, Hannah. Do you, is there anything else you need yeah. from us? <laughs> No, thank you. I think I got um, all the information that I need and more. So thank you, guys. Well, Paul, we're letting you go. And uh, Hannah, let us know how this, uh, you know, if you want to check back in with us in a few days, that'd be wonderful to uh, make sure you're doing okay. Thank you. We'll, We'll talk about this later, Hannah. No, we won't. No, no, we won't. No, we won't. That did not end well. We had so many calls after that about whether it did work or didn't work after a cheat. The people that tried and mostly failed. Mm -hmm. Uh, So let's find out what happened with Hannah over the weekend as she is here to tell us all about it. Good morning, Hannah. Good morning. Hey, Hannah, what happened after that phone call? I uh, asked Paul for Janice's number and he continued the lies saying that that would make him look bad in front of a Mm. client. So it's done. I'm 100% out of this relationship. We're in the midst of sorting everything out. You know, I took him back the first time, but it's absolutely unforgivable the second time and just his stupid lies i mean i gotta be honest with you we've done this show for a long time and i would say the most popular excuse of all time in all the roses we've done it's a client or she's just going through a hard time oh that's the other one yeah and i'm just trying to help her out because it sounds like she's down the dumps i mean there really is a cheater's profile he fit it to a t yeah. Did he keep trying to lie and fight you on, no, this is not what you think? Or did he finally at some point give in and say, okay, you're right, I'm sorry, I'm with her? No, he never admitted to me that he did anything with Janice. He's continuously telling me uh, just the repetitive lies that he's been saying over and over. You know, and even if he didn't, he was certainly grooming her for that. Mm-hmm. You don't send XOXO red roses with no, I, I miss mean, your beautiful everybody smile. Everybody can agree on that. Everybody can agree this woman has nothing to do with work. No, we are getting a divorce, and I'm glad that I can move on from this and that my daughter is still young and not a teenager and at an age where she'd really have to go through that i've heard that that makes it a lot more tough it it, it does it does i mean just be glad that she's you know still pretty young you know and that you don't have to because i'm telling you when they get to the tween teen years that's just gut-wrenching for the kid to go through yeah so it feels the last three years soon like a big waste of time, but I'm glad that... um, Can't look at it that way. You know what? I mean, you tried your best. You were trying to hold your family together. Don't beat yourself up about that. I mean, look, it's one of those things. It's not you're you're calling us because this is roses for the fourth time you think you might be cheating. It was the second time. And unfortunately, it proves to a lot of people that once a cheater, always a cheater. I know there are exceptions to the rule. I know there are people who have gone through infidelity and come out the other side staying married for 20, 30 years, whatever. But unfortunately, that doesn't, it's not how it's turning out for a lot of people recently. And um, yeah. it would just be foolish to stay with him 
<laughs> knowing how much he's lying to you. Yeah. You know, something we never asked you during the initial phone call, after you took him back, you've gone through all this, you know, counseling and everything. Did you guys ever resume a normal love life? We never really did. There were some moments where I thought we were maybe getting close back to the initial love that I uh, had felt for him and we had felt for each other, but it never was truly the same. And I think that I thought that it could be, but now seeing that this is a pattern and he has a cycle and it's not okay. So I know that in the end I'm doing the right thing. All right, Hannah. Well, look, thank you so much for checking back in with us. Um, I wish you the best of luck. We always wish you the best of luck uh, for the next chapter of your life. And uh, I appreciate you listening to our show. Thank you so much. I couldn't have done it without you guys. All right. You take care. Thank you. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. The listener line is 713-278-VENT. That's 8368. A lot of people were calling us last week about trying to make it work with someone who was a cheater. And that one woman who called in and said for six months, he was he was like, I'm sorry. I'm going to try to make this work with you. But he had never ended the affair. The whole six oh, months yeah. he was trying to get back together with her. He just never ended the affair. It was crazy. Only one, I think, of the live calls we took, actually, it worked out. Where they got Everybody past else, it. Everybody else, it just kind of blew up into nothing. Okay, watch that uh, <sighs> presumed innocent. Did you sure. watch that finally? Like five episodes it? in. Oh, okay. It was like, I think eight total, but uh-huh. watching that, it's like. With Jake Gyllenhaal. Like, yeah. Uh, people, you got to be careful having an affair. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wasn't that a movie with Harrison Ford? Yep. That that's was. What they, same character that's name, too. That's what it came Rusty. from. Yeah. They spun yeah, that off Rusty into a series. Savage. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they, it's the same. It's not the same story, story. but mm. it's really good. It's on Apple TV. It's called Presumed Innocent. I just finished the series. I think the last episode came out you this past ruined week. ruined it for Because every week. week. No, <laughs> week. no, Eric uh? is smart. He waits until they're all out. I was watching it from week to week. Except for the boys and House of the Dragons, which, by the way, House of the Dragons, woo, awesome last night. What an ending. Man, I couldn't believe that dragon so flew out of boys. that castle. And yeah. You're close. Shrek. You're close. Blew fire and then it. So yeah. Yeah. I fell in love with a donkey and had donkey babies. Donkey. Right? <laughs> Still want to know how Donkey! That Donkey. <laughs> That's so weird. Okay, coming up next in Celebrity Scoop, um, Kelly Clarkson and so many different stars are, are in Paris. Oh, where where are you getting the hotel room if you're trying to go to Paris? Like, what if you just didn't know it was the Olympics time? You're like, oh, I have to go to Paris for some business you're stuff. Screwed. Oh, I guess where am I staying? Oh, anyway, man. so we have all that. Plus, we have a chance for you to score something to fill your tummy today from Big City Wings. Oh, nice. We'll give you a little mm. gift, too. Well, coming up day. next in Scoop on the Rule and Ryan Show. And Ryan's Celebrity Scoop on 104.1 KRBE. It's brought to you by Takaria Randas. And we have something fabulous for you before we even get started because you're probably hungry already. It's Monday. You're dragging. Mm. You're thinking, where am I going to eat? Yes. Uh, how soon can I leave work so I can go eat that long lunch? It's summertime. <laughs> A lot of people are no even there around. yet. I know. They're like, all right, plan. How am I going to get away plan? <laughs> this is what we're planning. I know. We're just putting but, it on to you. They're going to work at 8. Like, okay, I'm going to leave at 11 for lunch. Uh-huh. Then, In between that, I'm going to have like three breaks. Yes. <laughs> Come back. Listen, if you don't know anything about this show yep. for years, Eric has had a beef with you, and he doesn't even know you. He has a beef with the workforce that gets to work at like 7.30 or 8, and they're already gone by 10.30 for like their early morning. Oh, I have a meeting, but also I'm going to go to lunch. Come back at 1.30, get on Instagram, pretend, do some online shopping, maybe I have, have a, beef, a Zoom meeting, I and the then beef, be gone by 5. The people that fill up the food places I want to go to at 11. I'm oh, like, is we've that been it? up since 4. This <laughs> You know what? I, yeah, I've now been you here. You've been working two so hours, hungry. three hours, and you already have lunch <laughs> filling up the place I can't Guys, get in. I've been here almost three hours. Can I leave now and go get lunch? Yeah, go. Okay, bye. Well, how bye, about Ryan. <laughs> Can you bring something back? Yeah, bring some I food. can't just ship leave right those now. Giant yeah, <laughs> okay, a hundred dollar gift card to Big City Wings. Uh, it is big on wings, big on specials, and big on sports. You can find a location near you at bigcitywings.com dot com, or okay. just be caller ten and score one hundred dollars worth of Big City Wings. That's a lot of wings. Yeah, that's eight, a lot. Eight three 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 nine zero K R B E is our phone number. Caller ten. That's a little gift to you from us. The Olympics kicked off on Friday in. Paris. Uh, it is in Paris, France, where we watch the tours go from celebrity to celebrity to celebrity, and then the reaction was, oh, okay, who's that guy? Oh, I don't know. Oh, look at that guy. Oh, I don't know who that is either. Oh, okay. <laughs> that must be somebody All I know is I, I, I've seen the, the <laughs> meme with Snoop Dogg where they've clearly CGI'd the torch into a giant joint. <laughs> He's carrying it. Look, I think oh, it looked man. like that. Well, the torch in general. Uh, it's it was a, a weird looking torch. It wasn't yeah. like it's a weird. It's yeah, like a they missile redesigned cigarette. it. It's yeah, a it missile comes cigarette. to like a little point. Yeah, I don't the think top. they made it into a joint. I think that's what it really was. 
It's a missile. It's like a missile <laughs> that they're holding up. Anyway, so uh, it was pretty fantastic to watch the opening ceremony. I didn't get to watch it all, and I almost want to go back and watch it and see the things I missed, but uh, it's so long. Oh. It's long. There, there are so many things to watch. Oh, my God. There, there are so, so many, many things to and stream. I, and I feel like I watched the important part. I watched Celine Dion's song that she did, and this is the first time she has sung since she revealed to everyone that she was diagnosed in December of 2022 with stiff person syndrome. The symptoms Symptoms include hyper-rigidity, debilitating pain, chronic anxiety, muscle spasms so violent that they can dislocate your joints and even break your bones. She had to cancel her world tour. She is fighting every single day to keep normalcy into her life. She was paid $2 million to sing that one song, and man, was it worth it. Um, it was. It, she's French-Canadian, so she's saying the, uh, the hymn of love. Um in, in France at the bottom of the Eiffel Tower and Kelly Clarkson and um, T- Peyton Manning were two of the correspondents that are doing the wraparounds for the Olympics along with, like, I call them the straight guys. The straight guys are the ones that give it to you, like the, you know, like the guys from yeah, There's the like the color commentators. Right. Yeah. There's like, the color commentators like, and there's the straight guys. The guys that give you all the stats and the straight stuff. The NBC their, staff. What's their and, main title? What are they, they're not called straight guys. I don't guys. know. Call them the straight guys. Like wrong. Straight shooters. <laughs> hey, I'm a straight guy. No, but I mean, not the straight, like, like orientation. In, in I'm a comedy about just duo, it straight. Like Ryan Seacrest is a straight guy. You know what I mean? Like, Ryan Seacrest will give you the mechanics. Well, he's a reader. Well, I mean, you got to give the mechanics. Who's yeah. the guy from when we watch MLB every playoffs? You got Alex Alex Rodriguez. You got Big Poppy. Yeah. Got the, the nice straight hair. guy is the, the Kevin hair. guy. He's the the, the stat guy. The he, Kevin guy, whatever his track. name is, right? So Kelly Clarkson was uh, overwhelmed at the end of the Olympic opening ceremony, as many people were watching Celine belt this out, knowing she's got stiff person syndrome. She's trying to hold on to every note. Do you want? I'm so sorry. Do you want Just, Kelly Clarkson or you want Celine? No, Kelly. Yeah, you can play okay. on. It's all good. Okay. If you know anything just about Celine right now, like she, she feels like she's a, this is her purpose. Singing is her purpose, right, Celine yeah. Dion? And that, and if you know anything about what she's going through right now, and I'm so sorry, I'm trying to hold it together, but that she got through that, that was incredible. And in my field, she is the gold winner for vocal athletes. Like she's incredible. But the whole night has been beautiful, despite the rain. I think you can get through it for. Two million dollars no. for three minutes. Physically, though, your body won't That'd let you. To fly, How do you do it? Fly all the way from Canada or, or wherever she's living. L.A. Right. Or, well, I mean, Eric and I, is. we we love that uh, hair band, Motley Crue. That guy, the guitarist in the band, he had the same thing. He, yeah. His bones are fused. He can't even move, and he's been on tour for thirty years doing it. They Here's, fired him. If she wanted, yeah, they did fire him finally. Well, that's unfortunate. They screwed him that over. They screwed him over. That they did. They screwed wrong. him over. Um, if you want to hear part of what everyone was talking about, here's uh, Celine holding it together to belt out the end of this song. Like Celine Dion moments, like people are like, like, oh my gosh, you, no, you kind of forget that. I remember years ago when I was answering phones here, Celine Dion came to what is now Liquid Church, right near in your neighborhood, the here. Summit, yeah, compact and, center. Um, it was a compact center, and she did a show, and I think maybe it was right after Titanic. I think it was right after Titanic. It was the tour that she did right after Titanic, and so I we gave away these tickets, and you know whatever, and just like every radio station, you're hoping for some scraps. <laughs> you're just hoping for some scraps. <laughs> and we had a suite at the time, and they needed somebody to host the suite, and I was like, I will host that suite. Please, can I host that suite? I will just stand there and I'll say hello to all the winners. All the winners, and like, I will who are we going to meet? Met the, the phone Dion. screener. Met the phone screener. <laughs> <laughs> and so there's some lady that I helped because uh, outside of the venue, they lost their tickets. And something, you know, like when you lose your tickets back in two, two, like yeah, 1999, you didn't have, an iPhone, you, had paper you didn't have iPhones and all this stuff. Anyway, whatever the situation was, KRB helped her and her husband. They got to sit in the suite. And I remember they were so grateful because Celine Dion meant so much to them because of some wedding song or whatever their story was. And her husband, I was like, oh, what do you guys do for a living? And he's like, well, I create websites. I was like, oh, well, that's cool. Oh, it's going to fail. No one cares about those things. <laughs> yeah, never oh go anywhere. Nice. <laughs> Oops. I just remember the Celine Dion website creators that were so happy that KRB bailed them out when they lost their paper <laughs> tickets. <laughs> things that you remember in your early days. Was she famous before that Titanic song? Like, real oh, yeah. famous? No, oh, no, no, no. Yeah. She broke Power onto the music love. scene in 1990. You remember she was, what was that movie with Michelle Pfeiffer and... Um, oh, uh, Robert Redford? Up Close Confidential or Up Close and Personal. 
of close and personal. Is she a was, news anchor. Mm. He was a news anchor. Yes, oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, he was. was the news director. Michelle Pfeiffer. He made her a star. But then she, he, something happened to him. For all the times uh, yeah. 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 you love me. Yeah, because you love me. All these songs, Power of Love, all these ballads. She was like the power of the time, man. Like, Seal came diva. out. Kiss from a Rose era. Ugh. Seal Kiss from a Rose. Kiss from a Rose. Oh, because you love me was her biggest hit. And then she sang. Oh, that was the biggest hit for her. Really? Before my heart will go on. Yeah, that was Wait. the biggest. Hold on. There is a song. I don't know what it was called anymore. Now it starts out with violins. We played it in the overnights here at KRB. So here's how little sight into radio. When there's a song that a record company wants to get out there, but they're not. It's not really that good yet. They don't know how it's going to go. They shove it in the overnights. They shove it in the overnights. Get some spins. Get some spins on it. So I was working overnights at KRB, the two to seven a.m. shift, worst shift in the radio. You were falling asleep by 6 a.m. You got to hit buttons. This is before we had computers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this song by Celine, they were testing it out, and it actually did well. I mean, it became a hit, and I can't think of it now because she has so many of them. That it was super power ballad, super power ballad. It had violins in the beginning of it. I was waiting for you. I'm trying to think in my head. What's the chorus? Mm. Na, 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 na. Anyway, y'all, 2 to 7, you are desperate to stay awake. You are desperate to stay awake. So when the song got programmed into my 2 to 7 a.m. shift. I was like, oh, yeah, Celine, let's go. You're talking to yourself like you have some kind of mental illness problem and you're just talking up. to space. You're keeping yourself awake. You're just, like, jogging in place. <laughs> I, yo, this song would come on, and Sam could totally relate to this because she's on that side of the board. Exactly where you're standing is where I was. Mm -hmm. I, tur I opened the door because it was kind of scary being here by yourself. I opened the door to make sure no killers were here. <laughs> and I would turn that song up when it would come up live on the show. I was like, I would I would talk up the song, and then I would turn up, and I would build it out like something the whole awake? time. Yeah. Her <laughs> vision is way more powerful. She had all by myself, oh, power yeah. of love. So it's all coming many. back to me because you love me. <laughs> Celine Rabbit Hole, kids. That's too many. Doing. Too many. Too many. That's there. time for what's going down. How many times did you fall asleep? I want to hear that sometime. Oh yes, this, I remember the song. I woke up where I had to hit the button. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, dead air for two I'm minutes. Cool. Dead air. Okay, Check so traffic is going to be really bad this morning downtown. President Biden's going to be visiting uh, the late Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee. Uh, the Congresswoman is set to lie in state and city hall from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. today. We don't know exactly when or how long the president's visit will be. The public will be allowed to pay their final respects and sign a book of condolence. Uh, let's see, the flags will be flown at half staff. There's only been one other occasion where a person has uh, laid in state in City Hall, and that was Dr. Michael DeBakey, the renowned heart surgeon, back in 2008. So only the second person to ever do that. Now, I wish Kevin were here right now because, you know, he loves to fly Southwest. Have you all heard about all these exploding soda cans on Southwest? Only on Southwest? Or yeah, an and it's, it's, it's because of Southwest. More soda cans are exploding on oh. Southwest flights. They're injuring South, uh, flight attendants. Uh, there were more than 100 reports of soda cans exploding in the month of June. Now, this hazard is unique to Southwest because their airline does not serve perishable items, so they're not required to have refrigerated trucks or storage. So because these cans are exposed to the elements, the hmm. you know, like the heat, yeah, the weather and everything. Yeah, that's why they're exploding? They explode. Yeah. That's not good. Interesting. And I think not Kevin, good. He's a Delta dude now. Oh, he's Delta? Delta dude. Well, he's he was, I saw he him was on, spirit. Uh, but... I saw him on social media. They waited. The He had a layover. Uh-huh. And they they told Delta's like, okay, we'll keep the plane here until you get on. And he was so grateful. He was like, I'll never say a bad word about you ever again. <laughs> Thank well, you, Delta. We'll so, be sure to be on time now, then. Yeah. So it saved, <laughs> so it saved them. Delta hooked them up. We always hear bad things about airlines. They actually helped them. It's nice to hear something good. Roller, remember when we were all talking about that big FBI case here where they had to take all the... Um, Eric gave us the goods on that. ...people to yeah. NRG. I'm in the Big old bust happening last Wednesday. Eric, you did. You knew. It was part of it. So many of those swept <laughs> up in that federal wire fraud Undercover. bust, including the former owner of a Houston bail company. They got their freedom on Thursday with a type of unsecured bail that is common in federal courts. Yeah, they wrote their own bail. That has not They got arrested for them. doing their fake bail bonding. Yeah. So they they got don't require a bondsman. The bail decisions outlined in the federal court consisted mostly of cashless bonds in which a bondsman would not be necessary. So they got out on bail without having to pay anything. That's okay. They're going to be a little busy in the next few months. I find when the FBI is involved, you're in deep doo-doo. Yeah. <laughs> like when I'd they're doing so stuff, blanked. you're screwed pretty much. That's the official statement. You know, I saw that on the news the other night. They're in deep doo-doo. Tom Millie Jones. That's what they say on the rookie, too, Eric. What's that? That's what they say on the rookie, too. You're in deep doo-doo. Well, I feel bad for Sam. She's been jonesing for that, but somehow my 
Hulu account. It kicked me off. Kicked it her kicked off. me off. It and wasn't I haven't me. been able to too watch many, the rest of I think I changed the password because someone else tried to get on. You probably give it to a family member. Oh, I know. No, I didn't. I promise. And then remember did you when leave we... it logged in when you were on vacation somewhere? Yeah, no, did leave... I didn't. I promise. I promise. And then remember when we had the cops in because they were doing that huge uh, yeah. thing with uh, te- um, Texas Roadhouse. Texas Roadhouse. Well, yeah, the Special Olympics. I wanted to ask them so many questions because I'm so obsessed with the rookie, but I got so bashful and nervous. I never got to Would ask them like questions. Would you like to do like? Go with the rookies and do something. Do a ride along, mm. but I mean ride along like like because the firefighters have asked us to do the training. Uh-huh. Yeah, we go out there for a few hours and. Do oh this. my gosh, I would absolutely try that, but I know that I have zero endurance. No, you don't think you could. I, I wouldn't be able. I wouldn't chase get somebody. Paid. Speaking no. of just practice, them. chase one of us around. Yeah, <laughs> down the run up and down the hallway, <laughs> chase them hey, hey, I asked Cliff by the way <laughs> yesterday how much did they raise for uh, Texas Roadhouse? Yeah, yeah. every officers. Texas Roadhouse for that one day mm-hmm. to make money for Special Olympics. He said last year they made just over ninety eight thousand dollars. This year the totals were just over one hundred thirty one thousand oh! dollars. Right, awesome. But they're still waiting to see which um, which Roadhouse took it, which one had the most. Oh, yeah. Yeah. King Wood was trying their best. Yeah, they were all in the top. That was all of them in the top, but they don't know who the actual big winner was. That's great. Thank you, Houston, for showing up for Special Olympics. Now, coming up next, look at me now. That means somebody told you something bad one day in your life, and you're like, you're going to be nothing. You can't do that. Why are you trying that? You're stupid. <laughs> you're a dummy. I don't think you're slow. Hopefully you're they didn't strong. call me stupid. But they, yeah, they, that's exactly what we get called the about. Worst. Or they, or they, don't they were say told that. they were stupid. They were told you can't do this. They, they were so laughed dumb at. that they say it other ways, but yeah. you know what yeah. they're saying. They're laughing at you like, oh, you have big Bless ideas. your heart. Look Ugh. at you with your big boy pants on with your big ideas. You're dummy. Go yep. sit down and look at you now. You show them. 833-390-KRVE is our phone number. Give us a call and tell us how you triumphed. Next on The Rule and Ryan Show.